Crested Gecko Camel Masters of Rainforest Disguise The Crested Gecko truly is a marvel to observe. Their vibrant colors and elaborate patterns are certainly eye-catching, but their camouflage skills are what allow them to thrive in the dense rainforest environment of New Caledonia. They're masters of blending into their surroundings. Their skin texture mimics the bark of trees and mossy rocks incredibly well. This isn't just about color. It's a complex combination of patterns and surface structure that helps them disappear from predators like birds and snakes, while simultaneously allowing them to ambush unsuspecting insects. It's an evolutionary adaptation honed over generations, providing them with a significant advantage in their natural habitat. Crested geckos are remarkably adaptable creatures, and their habitat reflects that. They're primarily found in the rainforests of New Caledonia, a small island nation east of Australia. What's fascinating is the range of elevations they occupy. You can find them thriving anywhere from just under 500 feet above sea level all the way up to over 3, 200 feet. That's quite a vertical spread. This wide distribution means they experience drastically different climates and environments within their native habitat. Because of this, their coloration isn't uniform across the islands. Instead, it varies significantly based on the specific environment each gecko calls home. Some populations display vibrant reds and oranges where sunlight penetrates the canopy, while others are a muted green or brown in darker, shadier areas. Crested geckos possess a truly remarkable ability to disappear into their surroundings. This isn't just about camouflage achieved through coloration, it's something far more fascinating at the cellular level. Their skin is filled with specialized cells called aridophores. These aren't your typical pigment cells that simply absorb or reflect color. They actually create color by reflecting light in a unique way. Think of them as tiny mirrors arranged in layers within their skin. This process, known as structural coloration, allows the gecko to shift its appearance subtly depending on the angle of the light and the background it's against. They can seamlessly blend with leaves, bark, or even mossy surfaces, an incredible adaptation that helps them avoid predators and ambush unsuspecting insects. What you're seeing is it just color it something far more fascinating. Unlike pigments that absorb certain wavelengths of light and reflect others, which is how most colors appear crested geckos possess specialized cells called iridophores. These remarkable cells don't create color in the traditional sense. Instead, they manipulate light itself, acting like tiny prisms to scatter and redirect it. This manipulation results in an iridescent effect, a shimmering quality where colors seem to shift and change depending on your viewing angle and the surrounding lighting conditions. It's this dynamic interaction with light that gives their skin that incredible, almost ethereal appearance. Watch closely as you move around them. You'll notice those colors subtly transforming before your eyes. You might be familiar with crested geckos displaying vibrant colors like bright greens and fiery reds, and that's often what you see in pet stores. That's because breeders have selectively bred them for those striking appearances. However, if we journey to their native New Caledonia, the story changes considerably. In the wild, these geckos boast a much more subtle beauty, showcasing an incredible range of earth tones. 
Think rich browns that blend seamlessly with tree bark, soft grays mirroring the volcanic rock formations. Warm tans reflecting the dry leaf litter, and even incredibly dark, almost black variations providing perfect camouflage in shaded areas. It's truly fascinating to see how drastically their appearance can differ depending on their environment and selective breeding. It's fascinating how much more goes into a crested gecko's camouflage than simply matching its surroundings in color. Observe closely and you'll notice these incredible fringed crests running down their back and tail. They aren't just decorative, they play a vital role in the gecko's ability to blend seamlessly with its environment. These fringes disrupt the animal's outline, creating a visual effect that makes it much harder for predators or even curious observers to pick out its shape against foliage or bark. Think of it like this, a smooth line is easily detected. But broken lines and irregular edges are far more difficult to distinguish from their background. That's exactly what these crests accomplish, significantly boosting the gecko's ability to disappear. These crests aren't just a quirky feature, they're actually incredibly functional. They are formed by elongated scales that project outwards from the gecko's head and body, creating these beautiful ridges we all recognize. But their purpose goes far beyond aesthetics. These structures act like tiny prisms, refracting and dispersing light as it hits them. This breaks up the gecko's outline, making it much harder for predators or even potential prey to spot against a backdrop of leaves and branches. It's an ingenious example of natural engineering, perfectly adapted to their arboreal lifestyle. For a crested gecko, survival hinges on staying hidden. They're small and relatively defenseless, so they've evolved to be masters of disguise. A surprising number of animals pose a threat from fire, ants that can swarm and overwhelm them, to domestic pets like dogs and cats, and even larger predators like snakes and rats. Interestingly, sometimes other geckos themselves can become rivals competing for resources or territory. All these potential dangers rely on their vision to locate prey, Meaning camouflage isn't just helpful, it's absolutely essential for a crested gecko's continued existence. Their ability to blend seamlessly into their environment offers the best chance of evading detection and living another day. It's truly remarkable how these geckos adjust their camouflage. It's more than just a static pattern they're born with. Their ability to blend in isn't fixed it, actually shifts based on the surrounding environment. Think about humidity. For example, higher moisture levels can deepen certain pigments, making them appear darker and further obscuring their outline against foliage. Similarly, light intensity plays a role brighter conditions might cause them to lighten slightly minimizing harsh shadows that could give them away. This dynamic adaptation showcases how finely tuned these geckos are to their surroundings, constantly adjusting their appearance for optimal survival. The crested gecko's camouflage isn't just about blending in it's a remarkable example of adaptation over millennia. Their skin patterns and colors often greens, browns, and creams are incredibly varied, allowing them to virtually disappear against the foliage, bark, or rock faces of their native New Caledonian habitat. This incredible ability is more than simple coloration, it's a finely tuned system developed through natural selection. 
geckos with camouflage that provided better protection from predators like birds and snakes were more likely to survive and reproduce. Passing on those advantageous traits, over generations, this process sculpted the stunning array of patterns we see today, demonstrating how powerful even subtle evolutionary pressures can be in shaping life forms. It's a silent testament to the ongoing dance between survival and environment.